Warning, spoilers are coming. Hey guys, I'm so sorry I'm late. I just, the train was awful and this, I, it, is this the studio for Game of Theories? Because it's, it's this feels really cold. I don't know what's, oh my God. So, Hodor died, Summer died, Leaf died. And it's all Bran's fault. Way to go, Bran. Yeah, this Bran's no builder. He's more like Bran the Blunderer. Because of him, the White Walkers can make it past whatever the Children of the Forest did to keep them out, which means the White Walkers might be able to go anywhere, like the Wall. And as for Bran, it looks like the only place he can go is farther up north. We know very little about the Land of Always Winter, but I'm guessing Bran will be the one to definitively learn the key to destroying the White Walkers. At least we know that Daenerys and her dragons will eventually make it to Westeros. She'll finally be getting her ships! The Ironborn held their king's moot, and Theon's uncle Euron turned out to be the loudest, most aggressive candidate. Didn't see that one coming. Totally. He wants to go to Essos to uh, make Westeros great again, if you know what I mean. But where are Yara and Theon going? They could also be going to Essos. Or they could use Theon to apologize and appeal to the Starks, even though he didn't want to go north with Sansa. In the long run, could some of the Greyjoys ally with the Starks and the other with Daenerys? You know, to make it a clean split between ice and fire? I mean, even the new Red Priestess disagreed with Melisandre over who the prince that was promised would be. Wherever the Greyjoys go, at least they'll finally bring Danny across the narrow sea. Thank you, Drowned God! So here's where things stand. The North is about to go to war over Winterfell, the South is about to go to war against the Faith Militant, and Daenerys is about to receive a new fleet. The one wild card in all this is a girl, all by herself, in Braavos. As we see in this episode, a girl remembers she's Arya Stark, Killis, Needle, and all. So how is she going to join the wars to come? Well, here's what you need to remember. Nymeria, her dire wolf, is still out there somewhere in Westeros. Save the wolves. Yes, please contribute to the Lady Fund. Anyway, in the books, Arya has a deep connection to Nymeria. Could Arya be compelled to return to Westeros and lead an army of some sort? Will she get the faceless men to follow her? And of course, we have to say goodbye to the man of the hour. A man of few words, who liked bacon, and dedicated his entire life to Bran. To him, I say, Hodor. And that's it for this week's Game of Theories. Make sure to check back next week for more, uh, shoddy guesswork on Game of Thrones because I really have no idea where anything's going now that everything's past the books. But like Hodor, I'm going to keep holding that door open for more theories. One of them is bound to be right, 